right, love and light, Gemini, this is going to be your weekly love reading. Open your heart. So you may have some imbalances here in your heart chakra. The first thing I'm getting, yep, and look at what's underneath that. Yin and yang. So something here about balance and opening, removing any barriers from your heart here. Okay, so this is giving me like letting go of a grudge. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Taking a more balanced approach to a situation, maybe even seeing something from a different perspective collective, okay? You might be asked to view something in a different perspective or another way from somebody else's point of view, okay? So like, you know, this is giving me the energy of you having a disagreement with somebody. Could be an uncle, could be a friend, a family member, I don't know, right? A lover, whoever. Uh, and, you know, there's a need for you to maybe think about the balanced approach like okay you see it you're from your you know your perspective of, but what about the other person's perspective have you thought about that so just make sure you're taking a balanced approach to to this situation because it looks like to me your heart is a little bit closed off okay um you guys are receiving some form of synchronicities and guidance from spirit so that could be dreams here somebody's got some beautiful eyes like really really beautiful eyes i don't know who, who you are but you have beautiful mesmerizing eyes here interesting so what else do we have here what else do they need to know a loved one in heaven is watching over you look at that i, I think you got a loved one here that's passed over and this energy i think came out in another reading maybe like a week ago uh for the collective there's a loved one that is in heaven that's very close to you they've been in and around your energy they may even be in your house or you might even they might even be speaking to you or they could be the one that's sending you a sign um for some of y'all you may be feeling like you're hearing their voice i really feel like this loved one that's passed over that's watching you and sending you messages and signals i really feel like they want you to open up your heart they really want you to, like, if you're feeling overwhelmed in your life right now, they really want you to, to like, because I feel like you're in this ten, two of pinnacles and ten of wands energy where you're juggling a lot. You have a lot of responsibilities. You might be really, really busy. Some of y'all are feeling, like, overwhelmed, and it's time for you to just, like, really take a risk. And also, too, you could be healing from something because why else would your heart chakra just be kind of closed off? So, you know, just, just. Oh, look at this spiritual support on the bottom of the deck. Allow uh, your spirit team to support you. And as you become more spiritually aware. So this is looking like also to your, your, your spiritual gifts. You have some spiritual gifts here. Okay. And you do have your support, support team around you right now. So the point is there's no need for you to worry about anything. If you're experiencing some difficulty or some challenges right now, and it's been a little rough for you and you, you feel like you need to get some more rest, do that obviously, right? Take a balanced approach. And also to like you, someone could be asking for your forgiveness, or there's a need for you to see somebody else's perspective, not just your own. Be open to that. Okay. And be open to listening is another thing. If somebody has something to say to you, or someone wants you to hear them out spirit wants you to or your loved ones here they do want you to hear that person out you know it doesn't mean that you you know have to be like oh yeah let's be friends again or let's talk again or what you can continue to set boundaries or whatever if that's necessary but support yeah you guys have the support of your angels all around you here um okay um we got it spirit you got a friend you got a friend who misses you i feel like you have a friend that is missing you it was like two peas in a pod maybe i don't know it could be a male could be a woman but somebody's thinking about you and they do want you to be open to listening to their perspective i'm just they miss you okay they miss you and again something here is going on with your intuition all right, I feel like you're going to be seeing signs, synchronicities, whatever this inner knowing is, make sure you're trusting your discernment and you're using, like when I say intuition, how does it make you feel? What's your first thought? Don't like overthink it. Just go with how it makes you feel and what's your first thought? Don't question it.
Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't be too harsh because gentleness just came out in reverse. You're really, really contemplating whether or not you're going to respond to this person or talk to them or forgive them or something. Spirit says be positive, think positive. Don't push the issue, you know. Um, yeah, don't push it, all right? Just, just be nice and kind and sweet. Be gentle. Doesn't this card look like Aquaman? <laughs> I don't know. It does look like Aquaman. Hey, Jason Momoa. Have y'all seen Aquaman yet? What else do you have for the collectors? What else do they need to know? Mm. Yeah, y'all are definitely going through some Ten of Wands energy. Because the Ten of Wands energy, yeah, just came out. And Two of Pentacles. I don't know what it is you're afraid of. Your angels are about to send you some form of support. I don't know, whatever this is that you're going through, they're getting ready to send you some form of support. And they know what's going on with you. They can see that. Okay, so if you believe in praying, pray, ask for help, ask for signs. They're willing to, to send you signs. They're willing to send you support and prayer because it looks like that energy is here. Again, make sure you're not overthinking something here and like expecting the worst. Okay, because you're I feel like you're wasting time too much time on negative thoughts. I'm not saying like don't trust your intuition if it doesn't, doesn't feel right, but just there is something new coming in here. Interesting. What's this new opportunity here? This is like Ace of Pentacles energy. Some of y'all may have a new, yeah, you're getting ready to move on from something. Okay, you're getting ready to be recognized. So this could be you. Some of you guys are getting a new job. Some of y'all are getting ready to meet a new soulmate or like a divine counterpart, which is somebody either who, you know, whatever you believe in, twin flame or divine uh, feminine, divine masculine, soulmate, whatever it is. Y'all are moving on from something and you because you have a new opportunity. Eight of Cups energy. You're getting ready to be recognized for the person that the experience that you have, the knowledge that you have. Maybe your resume looks good. You're your guru at whatever it is that you do. You do it well. OK, for some of y'all, um, you know, or this is your divine counterpart coming in and recognizing you and you've done all this hard work and you're stepping outside of fear. Right. You're no longer expecting the worst and you have stayed determined and persevered through all of this on your self-discovery journey. And boom, that is what is manifesting this. And so your spirit team sees that and they've been supporting you on this journey. And you need to know that they're still with you. And specifically, you have a special loved one that's here with you and they want you to know that they're there. OK, you yeah, have peace. Peace and contentment are coming to you. So Sagittarius energy. You could be a Sag or have Sagittarius in your chart. This is the divine. This is angelic presence. Yeah. Definitely. Y'all have set boundaries with somebody. And I think that's okay for you to set boundaries with anybody here. You gain knowledge, you know, from... Um, your experiences and you're moving differently. It's 2024 is a new year, new you. Um, but you, like I said, you have some form of experience here and it's doing you well. It's doing you well. And I'm telling you, whatever, three of cups, you're getting ready to celebrate whatever this new thing is. Okay. It's, it's a seed. It's something that's going to be stable. Ace of Pentacles. Good times are coming for the hard work that you've put into something. It's like whatever effort you put into yourself, you are reflecting that on the outside and then you're drawing in and manifesting that new partner, that new person that you're looking for. Or if you've been working real hard at doing the same job or you're like you, you something about you changing the industry or whatever it is that you do, you do it well. It may be a bunch of people doing the same thing that you do, but I feel like you offer something a little bit different. And so people admire you for that, whether you know it or not, okay? Yeah, there's definitely spirit. If you have a strong spiritual presence around you, either angels or love, loved over, passed over loved one. Because this connection to the divine and your intuition and your inner knowing and the support that you have is really, really strong. So you need to be using that to your advantage, okay? Because... Whether you know it or not, you're an earth angel and, and you are highly connected, divinely connected. You got some happiness coming in for you. There, I'm telling you that there are new things coming in for you. 
you know, this is beautiful food energy, Ace of Pentacles energy, Eight of Cups, walking away from fear and, and being afraid. You're ready to take a step by step approach here. And you you are you just been loving yourself and you've been doing good. And I feel like you're you are you're radiating that from the inside out. You're glowing. Y'all got a real good glow here. A real good glow. What else for the collective that they need to know? Yeah. I'm telling you, you are releasing and embracing the new you. You're letting go of the old. You're you, like, <laughs> this is so good. I've never seen so much like energy of you releasing and finding your peace. You're letting go, of forgiving people, letting go, you know what I'm saying? And just saying, you know what? I don't care. You're back in the gym and you're probably feeling better. Um, and that's helped you release some tension and some emotion too. Because doing physical activity and working out actually does help you release a lot of a lot of pent up stress, frustration. You know what I mean? Yep. And as I say stress, that stressful energy just popped out. Thank you, spirit. I, I just love, look at that stress. Literally, as I was saying that. You, some of y'all, it might be. Go ahead and do a cleanse, okay? Or maybe you're already doing a cleanse. I don't know what type of cleanse you're doing, but it's working and it's going to help, okay? It, or you do some form of detox. Like, for example, I'm doing a um, dry January. Dry January. So, like, no alcohol in January. And I tell you, you can do wonders for your sleep. Um, yeah. What else do we have for the collective, please? I like this. Yeah, you're definitely, I'm telling you, if you're feeling like you're too busy, it's time for you to either delegate or communicate and ask somebody for support or ask for help and just take the time, block your schedule, block your schedule out for some time just for yourself. Okay. And there is somebody in your energy here who wants to talk to you from the past. I don't know if this is a lover or a friend. For a lot of y'all, I feel like there's a friend here. Um... There's somebody here that wants to wants to reconcile or like they want to listen to you or I mean they want you to listen to them. Maybe you feel like you want to reconcile or apologize to somebody. I don't know. Hmm. But that's your decision. But I do feel like if you listen to this person that you will get get some clarity that you've been you've been um this is somebody you haven't talked to. You'll get clarity if you just for those of you who decide to listen hear this person out. Because I feel like you've just been doing a lot of, you know, things on your own. Like, yeah. Didn't I say, look, see something from a different perspective? The hangman, Pisces energy. Mm -hmm. It's time for you to do that. Queen of Pentacles energy here towards Virgo Capricorn. Whatever you're getting ready to do... Your money and stability is going to be getting a little bit better, okay? This could be, like I said, career-related. Career-related. Yeah, there's an offer here, I'm telling you. Page of Pentacles, and you're going to love it. You're going to love it. Yeah, as I say, you're going to love it. Look, look what flipped over, Ten of Cups. You're going to love it. Mm. Some of y'all might be finding out, yeah, you're going to love it. The sun, Leo energy, I'm telling you, you're about to be so flipping happy. The sun card is here. Some of y'all might be finding out you, you have a little bundle of joy. Somebody might be finding out they're pregnant. That's not for everybody here, but um, I thought, where's that happiness card? I, here it is. I'm telling you, you're about to be so happy with whatever this offer is. The sun card is the happiest card in the deck. Some of y'all are going to find out that you are having a, a girl. Maybe somebody's having a girl here. You might be finding out also that you got accepted into a prestigious like school program or um, I don't know. You're being accepted somewhere. And it's really good news. Okay. It's really, really good news. Yeah, look at that. The star. Aquarius energy. So now we have the hangman, the sun, and the star. A wish fulfillment. I'm telling you, it's going to be good. You got a decision to make. I feel like you're a little skeptical. You know what I'm saying? You, you have nine of pentacles. Your money. You're, you are queen of pentacles, nine of pentacles energy. Okay? You're 
you can pay your own bills. You know what I mean? You don't have to really like, you know, and I know y'all have been stressed out. Maybe you're just too busy working, doing a lot of things. You might have two jobs. You might own your own um, company or business and you also have a day job too. But this is very fruitful energy here. Y'all need to eat more carrots and fruits and, and veggies, okay? I, I never paid attention to the carrots in her hand, but carrots are also good luck and abundance. So some abundance and some good luck is getting ready to come in for you. All right. There goes that stress. Some of y'all might be worried about money. Why are you stressed out? Nine of swords. There's nothing to be stressed about here. You got a love offer or something coming in here too. Knight of Swords is coming towards you fast. That could be that person that wanted to. Show me more about this Knight of Cups. This could be somebody else's energy. This ain't you. Who is this in this Nine of Swords energy, please, that wants to bring this love offer to the collective? Who is this in this Nine of Swords energy that's stressed out? Oh. Hold on. Nine of Cups. Who is this in this Nine of Swords energy? There goes that Justice card again. And Leo. Heavy Leo and Libra energy here. This is somebody who's been, like I said, you haven't talked to. They've been holding back. Um, Which is weird because Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. This is weird. Yeah, King of Cups. This King of Cups is hiding how they feel. They're hiding their emotion. They, this is what they want with you, right? But this is in the back of their mind. This is their emotion that they're hiding. The high priestess and the three of swords, they're hiding that they're heartbroken and they're holding it back. They're, they've been holding back communication, I feel like, for a while here. But they know they got to do what's right. They're, they know they got to bring in some form of balance here. Let me clarify this justice card real quick. I mean, they see you as a wish fulfillment, and rightfully so, because you're in this Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, the star energy. I, I mean, you're good. <laughs> life is good. Future said, life is good. Um, Clarify justice. Yeah, somebody want to talk. Clarify justice. Child, so I'm telling you, somebody's acting like everything is okay with them, and they are not. They want to talk to you. They want. They got this phone in their hand, laying in bed, acting like everything is okay. We'll, we'll clarify justice. Four cups. They're not okay. <laughs> so they just gonna sit in this energy. I mean, that somebody could have gotten karma. While the two of you haven't been talking, okay, they they are getting karma for not accepting your love offer, for holding back emotion. They might be getting karma for you know not not accepting this nine of pentacles when the not I mean not, not, not yeah you were the nine of pentacles and the nine of cups and the queen of pentacles. They held back from you. They held back from you. They didn't want to take this cup that spirit was giving them because they was probably. Maybe they hadn't healed over some other situation. Mm -hmm. Everything is not fine. They in this nine of swords energy. Just stressed, stressed out. So what's this person's next move, please, spirit? Child, they're going to wait to communicate. I don't know what to say. This person is waiting to figure out what they're going to say to you, how they're going to say it. Is it worth it? They're going to take their time because they don't know judgment they do want to call and talk to you though mm -hmm. this person feels like they're gonna be judged if they call you like who is this Ooh, tower tower and judgment why is the tower and judgment here six of swords because you know moved on somebody done moved on Oh, this is an air sign, possibly a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. The King of Swords is here. So this person just left somewhere. Hmm. Some of y'all, they could have gotten a divorce. King of Swords has moved on from something. Okay. Uh, yeah. And it was unexpected. Show me this King of Swords energy. Six of, six of Pentacles. Show me this King of Swords energy towards my collective. 
temperance. There goes that balance. This person wants to come in and give you something they did not give you before that they were supposed to give you before. Okay, could be a Sag. They don't have to be. They could totally be an air sign here. Um, they've been secretly watching you, I feel like, on um, some social media platform, wherever that platform could be for you. What, what is this king? What actions does this king of swords want to take towards my collective? Three of cups, they want to reunite, like I said. Bottom of the deck, say sorry. Page of cups. Six of wands. Ten of, ten of pentacles. Whoa. They want to talk. Mm. Give me one more on this king of swords. What do they want with my collective, please? This person's been waiting to talk to you for a while. They don't know what to say. They don't know how they're going to... Ooh, I think they walked away from somebody. They walked away from somebody. Mm, look at this. Or you walked away from them. They walked away, couldn't walk away from a third-party situation. Yeah, Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. The Emperor. Ooh. I don't know if I want to go too deep into what happened with this other person. Hmm. Let me get one on this Queen of Swords. Page of Swords. Let me get one of this Queen of Swords. Page of Swords. Like I said, they've been watching you doing nothing. Hey, show me this Queen of Swords. Okay, hold on. Seven of Wands in reverse and the Queen of Wands. There was a third party here. There was a third party. And a family situation, too. Yeah, there was some drama. Definitely a third party situation. Okay. So let's move on because I don't want to get too deep in that. In that. I'm going to do another, um, we'll do another love reading later tonight, okay? Um, what do we have here for the collective? Show me more about this King of Swords. Yeah, this person is definitely stuck in their head for sure. Like, stuck in their head, Eight of Swords, seriously. Like, I, this person, why? What is that about? Why is this person stuck in their head? Cool. Why is this person stuck in their head? Ooh. They're going through a dark night of the soul right now. They know that you are the gift. You are their destiny. Okay, they know that. They know that Divine Feminine is their person. They are annoyed with the process that they're in right now, which is the dark night of the soul. Healing their inner child here. They don't like it. They don't like the way they feel right now, what they're going through. But they're going to have to sit with it. They're just going to have to sit with it here. I mean, the good thing is here in this mental entrapment card, which is the same thing as this Eight of Swords. I don't know if y'all can see, but uh oh, this person is unlocking the lock that has the chain around his head so he is in essence freeing him, himself right this masculine is freeing themselves they're coming out of this because they feel like right now all they can do is just watch you you know from fake accounts and fake pages or whatever you know and <laughs> from afar yeah they're thank you spirit freedom they're freeing themselves Okay, and so freeing themselves to do what, Spirit? Free themselves to do what? <clears throat> to come tell their truth. To come tell their truth. 
And what's that truth? That they, they do miss you a lot, okay? I, let's just be real, be adults. To tell what truth here, other than passion. Yeah, they got it. They're getting ready to go down a new path. They they want to come down a new path to you. Okay. They know they got a choice to make. They don't know which choice they want to make yet. What, what, what choice is this? What decision and choice is this? They're going to cleanse themselves and free, free themselves and actually do the work, actually. They're, they're doing the work here. Okay. And the memories, they can't stop thinking about you. Six of Cups. They're not no longer holding back, holding back in reverse. Okay. Mm hmm. Reconciliation. This person is tired of going through this separation. They're ready to come towards you and reconcile. They do want to have sex really bad. Really, really bad. This person misses you sexually too. Oops, sorry, y'all. They miss you sexually. I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> soulmate energy somebody here could have been married marriage is in reverse somebody could have been married and that did not go well somebody had a third party i don't know if they did somebody else did i don't i'm not gonna dig deep into that but um so yeah i'm open for personal readings that information is below in the description box um did i tell y'all which signs were here definitely could be dealing with the gemini libra or an aquarius uh Scorpio, Sagittarius, definitely Libra, Pisces, Scorpio, definitely Leo, okay? But this person could be anybody. Uh, Virgo, I did see the Hermit card too, but I feel like that was just the energy of them like reflecting and not doing anything and trying to move out of caution right now and be really careful about their, their steps and their approach to how they really approach you. So 